We are celebrating 25. I mean, how does the show have such staying power? Because this is a huge milestone. I don't know. The show was on in the 90s. To all, it's the teens, the 20s. It's like, it's such a, it's, it's, it's amazing that it's still on, and I'm so fortunate to be a part of it, this, this landmark season. Um, it speaks to audiences, I think, you know, and the, my tenure on the show, I always felt good about coming to work and, and working with this material because it's, it's not just um, a regular procedural. It's something that, that people really, really relate to, uh, whether we like it or not. And, and I think that that, that speaks a lot, a lot you know, over the years, I think it has spoken. So. I mean, we see shows come and go. I believe that this is the only show from the 90s that's still releasing new episodes. And, I mean, I think it's kind of what you're talking about, about it's so realistic, right? I mean, when you get the scripts, what do you think? I think, wow, I'm, I'm really sad that people, people treat other, other people this way. But, you know, that's my favorite part. Whenever I was working on the show, like, that was my favorite part is getting the script. I would, I would fly through it because I, yeah, because it's satisfying to get a beginning, a middle, and an end. You know, like, they get the bad guys. We get the bad guys. And, and that's, that's so satisfying to so many people, you know, because it's, it's, it's a little bit of resolution for some people's hearts and souls, I think. Um, Mershka's turning 60 <laughs> in a couple of days, actually. Um, I mean, what what does her journey on this show represent, too, just as someone who's worked alongside her? and what you see? She's just an ultimate role model. I mean, she's she's such a woman. She's such a badass. She's, you know, I mean, she's she's got three kids in real life, and, and seeing her navigate her way through, you know, um, being number two on the show with Chris and then and then being number one and going through different showrunners and seeing her navigate and, and stay true to this character and stay true to the story and um, and make sure that that everybody's putting out a good a good product and not only that but making sure that everybody on set feels good about coming to work I think that's that's the biggest thing that you know work being her co-worker um, I've experienced and that I can speak to so because these stories are sometimes ripped from the headlines, right, how has it shaped the way you kind of see the world and the way that I guess sometimes we don't always get the bad guys or sometimes um, stories shape out differently? But how does has the show shape the way you see real life? Well, I mean, some things are just so unbelievable that, you know, like the statute of limitations. I remember the first time I heard about that, I was on set, like sitting at Rollins' desk, and I was like, wait, 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 this is true? You know what I mean? So it's it's opened my eyes. It's educated me um, how how prevalent it is, um, and 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 kind of just shedding shedding a little light on on some things, some really dark matters. I mean, it's it's not easy, and it's um, and it's certainly it's it's certainly rewarding to help you know as much as we can um, those people that have, have been through something like that.